Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show, and welcome back, or I should say welcome, to part one of my Ravenloft review series that I'll be kicking off today. I'll be going into the second edition box set, but I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. I believe this was 1983, the original module by Tracy and Laura Hickman. I believe they are of the Dragonlance fame. I never read the, any of the Dragonlance, so I don't know what their their you know claim to fame was. Other than that, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I, I actually have the comic books, and I've never read them. But funny thing is, I never read this module either, nor have I read any of the Ravenloft second edition box sets or books of which I have a huge stack. And I'm going to get. Uh, each and every one of those read, hopefully between now and Halloween. And if all goes well, I will be able to come at you with uh, at least my opinions and maybe some insight. In case you maybe want to run it, you know, uh, that sort of theme and, 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 and spirit, pardon the pun, is going to be hitting us pretty hard with October right around the uh, corner. And, you know, I've already started picking up stuff to decorate the house and do some crafts. For the show, uh, you know, themed up with the, the usual Halloween tropes, bats and skeletons and all that, you know, happy, you know, stuff. And I thought, what better way than to pull this out? I actually have two copies of this, and this is actually the better version, I believe, with a nicer condition. Now, this, this particular module will run you about 50 bucks, if you can believe that, on eBay. And uh, I will actually be doing an eBay video on helping you sell some of your junk over the course of the next six months because the holiday season is the best time to sell your unwanted game items especially because there's so many folks out there you know especially as dads looking to buy ourselves a little something nice that way you know when, when christmas rolls around christmas morning there's something under the tree that you actually want not another tie or you know some you know shampoo or cologne or crap like that that you know people think we want for Christmas which is just sad but you know anyways I just finished reading this this morning it actually took me a couple of days can you believe that crap uh, to get through this just because uh, you know my schedule busy busy stuff now it comes with not one but two actual cardboard in, you know folder type uh, maps to get them separated without tearing them apart. One is got the local countryside. The other one's obviously the, the, the cover. But the local countryside, I believe that's Ravenloft up there and, you know, the surrounding terrain. And then the other sides have Castle Ravenloft. Uh, complete with some catacombs and, and things like that. You know, a nice perspective of the, the uh, the dungeon, as it were, that being Castle Ravenloft, and uh, it's a busy place. It has got a crap ton of rooms, but it's got a crap ton of empty rooms. And now the module states that it's for six to eight characters of level five to seven. If you run through this module with eight seventh level characters, it's going to be a walk in the park. It really is, mind you. There, uh, you know, obviously to to beat this module or whatever to, to successfully you know play through it and, and and get out alive and that that means out of Ravenloft which I'll go into in a minute um, you, you're gonna have to kill Strahd uh, mind you he's only got 55 hit points and yeah he can you know kind of get out of a, a lot of sticky situations but eventually he's got to go to his you know his coffin and once the players find that there's you know you split your party into four uh, two groups of four seventh level characters and he's SOL even if you, you were you know all fifth level you which I, you know is probably impossible because your thief or something like that would be much higher level but um, it, it's not really going to be that tough the toughest part to me was obviously the life draining which uh, you know for the sake of fairness I would prefer my players actually have you know six or seventh level characters that way uh, if they do get zapped with a life level drain, which is a pretty steep penalty, uh, you know they could they could still 
maybe make it through the, the adventure. Um, now, if that, you know, if they get lucky and, and nobody you know, suffers a loss from uh, the vampires or some of the other monsters, I don't want to give away too much. But the, the hardest thing I, I, I found in the adventure, uh, besides the vampires, was a, I think a pair of iron golems, which are going to require a plus three, I think, magic weapon to to you know hack those things to pieces, which sounds kind of ridiculous, but that's the, that's the way it works. Other than that, most of the other stuff, not that much of a challenge. The treasure, it's okay. Um, if you're only going in for the treasure, then you're going to be disappointed. Although there is ample room for the GM uh, specifically to add extra goodies for the players, which I highly recommend. Otherwise, uh, you, you're, you're going to run this and, and end up with a TPK. Uh, well, they're not going to be dead. They're going to be undead. Uh, and th that may not be uh, a happy conclusion to, you know, what could possibly be a year-long campaign culminating, you know, this Halloween, October-ish with them all being turned into vampires or, or you know, slaves to Strahd. Other than that, it's it's not a bad adventure. Uh, I'm glad I read it. Uh, I don't know that I would have enjoyed running it back in the day, uh, just because it is so complicated, and it, it's, it's so full of rooms. I mean, there's probably close to 100 rooms that you're going to have to, you know, watch the players try to scour and clean and search every single room until they find, you know, the, the vampire's lair. And the fortune-telling card section I find, found a little confusing, and I, I think I could improvise a, a little bit better. The, the, the way they described it and explained it uh, would have been better with a little bit more clearer instructions instead of so much time and energy spent on the graphics. But that's me uh, having my own set of tarot cards I could pull out, or just a deck of cards. Uh, it, it would be much easier to to just wing it than, than to try to, you know, squeeze in the, the narratives that they have for certain cards and things like that. The artwork throughout it is very nice, and it was nice to see a lot of the artwork repeated in the box set that I started going through last night. There could have been a few more interesting new creatures, but all in all, now, the, the big problem with Ravenloft is once you get there, you can't leave. Uh, the, there's only one or two ways to get out, and I don't want to give away one of them, but obviously if you kill Strahd, then the fog that surrounds Ravenloft uh, opens up and allows you to escape. Now, where you're going to escape to, that could be an interesting prospect for the DM. It's like, oh, well, you've been able to leave Ravenloft, but now where are you? You're, are you back in Greyhawk where you started or something like that? Or do you end up in one of the other uh, domains that make up the areas around Ravenloft, which I am going to start getting into. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go back to reading the uh, the core rule book that came in the box set, which is a pretty meaty, you know, like 144 page uh, volume. I wish it was hardcover, but, you know, I'm pretty sure they repeat most of the stuff in the hardcovers, of which I have one or two, and you know, all the other modules of, of which I have a crap ton. And I'm going to try and get through all of them, but if I don't, uh, you know, don't hate me. It, 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 it's uh, it's quite quite a collection of books to go through for Ravenloft, and I don't have them all. But if you guys are fans of Ravenloft, second edition, first edition, let me know in the comment section what you thought of it. If you're ever going to run it again, if you have any recommendations or suggestions for people who have run it, uh, or I should say for people who haven't run it like myself, but who are contemplating running it, let me know. I'm actually going to throw a little bit of this gothic horror in my nautical campaign, believe it or not, so I could use any advice I can get. But until next time, folks, have a great day, and I will see you guys real soon, and as always, happy trails.